Hi guys, today you will learn how to achieve this great result in Unity URP using 3D Substance Painter and unwrapping it there. Check this out, nice and shiny. This is the model that I've chose. And firstly, I'm going to import it in Substance Painter where I'm going to unwrap it and then create textures according to the unwrap. And export the mesh from Substance with the textures. Let's start with this one. So firstly, go to Substance Painter, File, New. Um, here for the template, I'll choose PBR, Specular Glossiness. Select your geometry. In this case, I'm going to use OBJ, but you can use also FDX or some of these formats. Open. For the resolution, I will check 2K. For the normal map format, I will choose OpenGL. I'll, I'll explain you later what is the difference between OpenGL and DirectX. Then here, untick the cameras. Press Auto Unwrap. Go to the options. And here, by default, is generate only missing data, but I will choose Recompute rec All. Keep this by default, press OK, and OK again. It will automatically, automatically unwrap. So now I'd like to apply a leather material on the couch. Just type it, drag and drop the material over here. If you don't like some of the default materials, you can always uh, download from the Substance Adobe website. You can find the link below in the description. Then I'll adjust the material a bit because it looks kind of strange. It's, it doesn't look like a letter so far, at least to me. So firstly, I'll go to the tiling here. Press like this. Then I'll change the color something. Maybe more brownish. This one. I will decrease the roughness to something like this. And the dots to 0 0.07. Then the stains to 21. and the intense, this intensity of the small stains as well so maybe 0, 07 and here in the technical parameters i'm going to decrease the height range to these are these small bumps over here to 0, 1 like this Maybe I'll just switch this color to something. Like this. Okay. Now I like it so far. We have, we, we, we can see here this. Nice. Detect reflection from the light. Of, of course you can, you can make your own uh, leather, but I like it so far. If you found this information useful, please like and subscribe, support us on Patreon, this will help us a lot. Then go to File and export the mesh. Here keep the default options, Export, 
I call it sofa and I'll export it as LBX. Okay. Now it's important to export from the same file the textures as well. So mesh and textures, they need to go correspond, go accordingly. Go to file, export textures. Here you can switch the output folder. Um, I'll choose this one. Okay. Then the output template, I'll keep BBR specular glossiness, the file type. Uh, PNG will keep also the transparent background if you have. JPEG is the smallest file. Um, Targa, TGA. If you choose this one, it's bigger on size, but uh, if you, when you put it in Unity, only by clicking it opens automatically in Photoshop when you need to adjust something additionally. I'll keep uh, the, I'll choose the JPEG for now. For the size, I'll go for 2048. Then the output template. Here you can create your own templates as well. Like with uh, duplicating and adjusting. Let's say if you delete some of these layers, these are the output, output maps. And here you can see what maps are going to get with this template. So I'll press export. Everything is um, properly exported. Open the output folder. And now we can see all of the maps unwrapped. You can see this is how they've been un unwrapped in substance. If I click here on the details, you can see that all of them are called just default material. If you would like to change this name, I'll show you how to do it. Just so this name of the material, default material is coming from the texture set list. So I'll press here sofa like this. Then if I go to File, Export Textures uh, and export them again, now you, I can see that it's going to be renamed and open the directory again. Here you can see these are the same textures but named better, so I delete this one. I prefer to keep everything well organized. And the other thing is this uh, name. This is the name of the mesh. You can change it, of course, uh, by changing the name of the FBX, or you can change it here in Substance as well. So go to the output template. You need to change the template. Uh, here in the name, if you go to the beginning, this dollar sign and mesh means that in the name of the map, um, the name of the mesh will appear. So just delete this part to all of the textures like this. And if you go to settings, um, the PBR specular glossiness, export them again. You can see here in the list of exports, uh, it's named just sofa and the type of the map. Go to the folder. These are the old one and these are the new one, well organized. Why I'm doing this, I'll show you in a minute in, a minute in Unity. All right, now we have everything exported uh, from Substance Painter, Geometry and Textures as well. Grab them all, drag and drop them in Unity. It's Unity Europe. Here is my mesh. Try to drop it over here, like this. Then come here, create material. Put the base map here. Go to the normal map, choose 
here under the texture type normal and apply go to the material put the normal map as well um, you can drag it over here drag the height over here in the height slot and you can see we have our material I can increase a bit the normal map so I can have a bit of bump over here even though the leather doesn't need so much but it's according to your taste but you can see here we have a great unwrapped sofa with great textures cool quality for the European mode now to explain you why I renamed the textures and substance here when I have them everything just by with the name of the mesh and type of um, map it's really easy to see what is what and to create the material really fast as you saw and this was the default name of the mesh and uh, texture set so it's super long and you need to stretch the menus a lot this is losing your time so that's why I prefer to keep everything well organized as a final I'll show you my fine touches about the material firstly I'll change the color to something like this you can copy paste or save this number as well and make your own color palette then if I go here I'll decrease the smoothness a bit if you go below even below it looks more like velvet but all four it's fine for me so now it looks really cool right I hope you like it and as I promised here is the explanation of the difference between the OpenGL and DirectX for the normal map formats Unity works with both but uh, the difference is that OpenGL gets the light from top right uh, top right corner and that direct hicks from the bottom right corner here is the example of a bump and a hole I prefer to use OpenGL but it's according to your taste let me know what you prefer in the comments If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.